Hi guys, hello, hello, hello. I know it is um, Labor Day weekend, it's a long weekend. Um, but I've been meaning to come on with you guys a while ago, but getting back to, um, well, trying to get back into school. For those of you who don't know, I'm an administrator um, for a very large school district and it's been kind of hectic trying to get back to school. So um, I'm in the middle of all that, and I'm sure those of you with kids and grandkids, nieces and nephews and all of that, you guys are trying to get them, depending on your state, you're trying to get them back to school as well. So um, I was actually in the middle of refilling um, my hand soap because we actually ran out in our bathroom. So I figured eh, now's a good time as any to show you guys a quick back to school DIY foaming hand soap recipe. So I know a lot of you, like I said, who have kids, grandkids and all of that, you buy the foaming hand soaps at home or you um, supply it right for your teachers and, and um, your kids when they go back to school. So I'm gonna show you a really quick way on how to do that yourself moving forward. It's not as bad as you think that it is. So it's gonna save you a lot of money over time. So if you already have a foaming hand soap um, dispenser moving forward, you don't have to buy a new one. You're gonna keep using the one that you have, which is great. So that means you're not throwing you know, constant um, foaming hand soap dispensers into the trash. You're just gonna reuse the ones that you have. In my home, I like to um, be very, try to be very good about using things that are sustainable. So what I have is just a common mason jar, just a plain old mason jar, okay? Um, and then the trick to this though, in order for it to foam, you actually have to have a foaming hand dispenser. So like I said, if you already have a foaming hand soap dispenser um, because you bought it, you're just gonna continue to use that and refill it. If you don't and you wanna make it, I think I, I bought this, I wanna say I bought this on Amazon. Walmart, whatever, but you can find it. And I bought this, I think, in a pack of two for about four or five, four ninety nine. I think I paid maybe four ninety nine. Um, very inexpensive. So let me show you real quick how to actually make it. You only need three ingredients, and I promise you, you have it in your house right now. So first ingredient, obviously, is soap. So we like to, in my house, I use um, baby Castile soap. Um, I use this for Matthew uh, because I don't, I just don't like to expose him to a lot of, um, you know, harsh chemicals and things like that. But in order for this to work, it doesn't have to be Castile. You can do and use whatever soap you have in your house, okay? If you have, um, for, if you're making it for your kids or your grandkids and they like a certain body wash or a bubble bath, you can use that. If you're making it for yourself and you like your own certain body wash, you got your Dove, you got your Caress, you, you know, you got your Shea Moisture uh, body wash, whatever it is you got your old spice if you make it for your husband uh, is or your partner is totally fine soap is soap it really doesn't matter okay but that's the first ingredient obviously is soap so I'm not great at measuring I just really eyeball it um, about a third I would say about a third I don't know I eyeball it can y'all see that okay about that much about a third the second ingredient is going to be water that's it water now I like to use um, filtered water I don't like to use tap but you can use tap it's not going it's not going to mess up the recipe but I like to use filter and it's about a third also too okay so you're just going to use a third ish of water oh look at that I gotta replace gotta replace my filters Lord God okay um, I love when you can buy things that are kind of idiot proof and remind you of when you're supposed to do what you're supposed to do. So I got to change my filter. But anyway, so the second ingredient is water. Okay. Now I know it don't look like much, but the third ingredient for this is literally air. So you might say to yourself, you know, you are missing a whole bunch of stuff in there, honey. No, I'm not. The third ingredient for this recipe is literally air. Now I'm not, uh, I'm not a... A scientist. I don't know what is in the um, foam and hand soaps that you buy for your family. Um, and I'm not an engineer in terms of how the process works, but I know the basics of what's in it. And it's literally just uh, soap, water, and air. So now the third thing you're going to do is literally just shake it up. That's it. Now, it shouldn't even take you this long. I know it's taking about a minute or two, but you know, honestly, if I wasn't talking and running my mouth, it wouldn't have taken that long. You're just going to shake it up. A little bit and that's it that's it can y'all see that see that foam foaming hand soap 
literally that's how you do it okay it's that simple you guys so like i said for those of you and it actually works it feels really good so for those of you um who you know thought about getting some foam and hand soap maybe you don't already stocked up actually if you got your kids going back to school moving forward you don't have to do that you don't need to keep spending all that money you can make it yourself and like i said if i wasn't to decline it y'all is that wrong to decline my mother in the middle of a lot <laughs> Well, she gonna see it. She gonna see that I was live and I declined her. Love you, ma. Anyway, I know you have a long weekend and I'm gonna let you get back to it, but I hope you found this recipe helpful. If you did, give me a quick thumbs up and show me some love and I hope everybody has a fantastic